What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use overlays in Premiere Pro. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Premiere Pro opened up and I'm going to be using some footage I edited earlier this week for the video where it is film looks in Premiere Pro. So as you can see I already have my overlay here and we're going to drag and drop it. Now an important thing about this, you need to drag and drop it above your video track. So as you can see my video, the default video is on video 1. The uh, overlay is on video 4. Now of course we also have black bars, so I'm actually going to put this below the black bars. And the next thing we need to do as you can see, it doesn't fit to the frame. So we're going to right click our video and we're going to select set to frame size. As you'll see it will cover up. Now this is why I also put the video track below black bars because as you'll see if I put it above, then it takes over the black bars as well. Now at the moment as you can see, we've got the overlay playing but we can't see our video behind it. So what you need to do is head over to the effect controls, from there you should see opacity. So select this arrow here and then you'll see blend mode. Now I can't really give you a specific one to use because you'll have to experiment what is best for yours. For this one in particular, if I come to screen, I think this one's good for this. So if I play this through, as you can see it's sort of got rid of the background but it does give us a pink, very very light pink tint. Um, Next one, as you can see, uh, let's see, Lighten also does pretty good with this. So again, this one's just made the video a little bit darker and this one will probably be better. And you'll just have to play around with which is best for you. Okay, so I've literally just been through all of the blend modes and the ones that I found were best for me is Lighten, Color Dodge, Screen, Linear Dodge, Add, and Linear Color. Now this is just for this specific type of overlay, of course it might be different for every other overlay, so you as well play around with the blend mode for your specific overlay. But as you can see, just like that, you can add an overlay in Premiere Pro and it's super easy to do. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.